Welcome Chillands, fellow painters and decorators of the interweb. It's Phil Beckwith, the professional painter and decorator. Back with a, well, I, would, I don't even want to say a product test. Just trying out a tin of paint I bought 18 months ago or more. Seen the thumbnail, Bedek, Balm Paint. I'm going to give it a go. I've got a shed at home. Can't see it with the sun, can you? We've got cracking weather in the UK at the minute. It's like tropical. Well, it's like being in Spain, let's put it that way. Got a shed. It's in the sun, it's in the sun at the minute. It looks like it's white. I can assure you it's not white. But um, I had this shed at home fitted. Year last, year last Christmas, year last November, so probably looking at about over 18 months. Now, when they fitted it, I asked them not to put any stain on it. And what did they do? They put some stain on it. Could have cried. So it's actually taken well over 18 months for the sun to bleach that stain out. So now I've got virtually bare timber. And I thought it was a good idea to give it a go with Bedette Balm Paint. Because this balm paint goes only goes over anything. <laughs> I'll say it goes over anything. It goes over most stuff. But for sheds, it's ideal. If you've got wooden outbuildings, if you've got barns, if you read the back of the, the tin, it says it goes over windmills, it goes over silos, it goes over tanks. And I don't think they mean tanks that go to war. Enough said on that. So it really does anything. Windows the lot. Give it a read on the back. I've already done it. That's why I'm using it on my outside shed. Now what's interesting, you can brush it. You can roll it. You can apply it virtually by any means. But one of the things I wanted to try, I wanted to spray it, see what it was like for spraying. Now my initial first idea was to spray it airless. But then reading on the back, I thought to myself, well, it does say HVLP. So do you know what? I'm going to give it a go with HVLP. And guess which HVLP I'm going to give it a go with? You've guessed it. My HVLP sprayer that I did a, a review on. Have a look at that video there. Just in that corner. Did a review on it. It's under 40 quid from Screwfix. Can you see that? And I actually thought it was quite good. So what an opportunity for me to use a cheap sprayer. Because you can't go wrong, can you, when you're only on an outside shed. Cheap sprayer using balm paint from Bedeck over my shed. It's not a customer's. I'm not being sponsored by a shed company. I'm not even being sponsored by anybody. If anybody's listening that wants to sponsor me, wants to sponsor me videos comment get in touch so anyway we're going to spray it now when I said I wanted to do airless read the spec sheet for airless because I think you'll find that it recommends that you spray it 0.14 thou of a tip so if I went a 514 that would be ideal don't go anything smaller than that interestingly again read your mixes what do you, you're going to say what do you mean mixes when you're doing first coats of paint, just thin it down. Now, when it's going on to bare wood, you can be 20, 25, 30%. Now, particularly with me using that HVLP sprayer, I'm really gonna thin it down for that first coat. And just to show you, it says on the back here, so it says on the back, porous surfaces, which a bare shed is quite porous. It says 30, 40, let me say it again. 30 to 40 percent so you can really add quite a bit of water to it and then build up to be thicker so what i'm going to do i'm going to mix some paint up i'm going to make sure it's quite thin i'm going to spray it now with this sprayer it came with a i don't know whether you can see this oh that's wrong side then i don't know where it says it, it comes with two air caps is it a 2.2 and a 2.0 2.0 and a 2.2 I'm going to be using the 2.0, which is quite a big orifice, but 
I can always regulate how much paint flows. But again, watch that video that I link to if you want to understand how to work it. So um, bear with me, I'm going to mix that paint up, make sure you give it a good stir. I'm going to mix some um, water to it, put it in the little suction pot and let's um, see how we go. So, so what I've done, I've done a mix. It's probably about 30% water to 70%. So in this pot underneath, I filled it up two thirds then topped it up the third and then I've just been round the back just had a bit of a practice spray and it sprays lovely now just don't forget this is a very basic sprayer you have got the control of the wide fan pattern narrowing it down and you can turn your actual spray fan horizontally to vertically but there's not much other controls there's not really much control for um, altering your air I could do with a little bit of air control but you can that knob on the side you can dial that in if you want to restrict how much paint comes out but for this it's only a shed I can manage so um, I'm going to set up the camera so you can see it I'm going to spray this side now before anybody jumps on the bandwagon the bottom I'm probably going to paint that black I'm going to probably use some of that shades black paint that I've got which if you want to see a video on that just there so um, yeah let's crack on I want to give this two coats the sun's out it should dry quickly the stories remember just check your temperatures you don't want to be spraying and painting in cold weather and also if it's inclement and there's a chance of participation you don't want it raining on you can you see me nothing complicated I want to start at the top I'm not worried about my spray technique. I want to try and show you that anybody can spray with one of these cheap 40 quid sprayers. I'm going to go down, down the, oh, down the corner, across the top, horizontally. I've got a band in the middle that's like a participation between the two sections of, two sections of the um, shed. We've got the sun on it again. Uh, and then when I come to the second coat, I'll just make sure it's all covered. But as I said, this bottom part, or cross there I think I might do that black so I might just go down onto it enough but then I'll um, go over it with some black that shades Cooper and all shades that link it was in that corner so yeah and um, when I'm up there you'll see that I've got a t-shirt on that says Bedek no sponsorship it's just a freebie that I got from a bit of a trade show you know Paintwell did an open day and had all the supplies there. I've got a free t-shirt. One just fits me, it's a large. The other one's extra large by two. It drowns me, I look like a Diddy Man. Those of you that are old enough to remember what Diddy Men are, yeah, I look like that. You see that? It's not too bad, is it? What have I been about? Six minutes. I fast forwarded that, haven't I? Six minutes. When I step away, it won't focus on me, it'll focus on the shed, but 
had a little bit of a blockage on the first um, couple of runs that's because I wasn't getting the pressure into the pot but once I cleared that plenty came out I could have dialed it in a bit to not put so much on but I wanted to get a nice wet coat onto all that the sun's on it and I can see it drying off already so I'm quite happy I've nearly gone through that well, it's about 900 mil it's about a litre in there so it's taking less than a litre probably 750 mil to spray that side up which is good now I've got a five litre tub five litre can what hey I can hear you you're saying how much is a five litre can shop around about 70 quid might get a bit cheaper might be a bit more but this is a mixed colour this is that greeny colour well, about 70 quid a tin so um i know some people don't like to see me doing all the spraying of the um, items that are sprayed so i'm going to call it a day on that i'm going to finish off the other bits i'm going to do the sides finish off the back where i use it as a test area and what i'm going to do is then do a second coat and then i'll come back to filming just to give you a recap on how it's looking but so far so good a 40 quid sprayer for spraying fences and sheds like this yeah, it's not a QT5 at £2,000. I've not got all the controls and the whistles and bells, but do you know what? For, for, for less than 40 quid, it's doing the job. So, check it out. Screw fix. Catch you later. There we have it, everybody. I've come back to you after a good few hours of first talking to you. That sun was very bright. We got over well over 23 degrees today. Probably not ideal for painting in, but uh, it's an ideal temperature for stuff drying. And as you can see, what a cracking shed I've got now. How impressed am I with that barn paint? I mean, it says goes over anything. Yeah, it goes over me water my shed. But no, let's just tell you about this. I'll read you what it's on the side of the tin. Excellent resistant against cracking, blistering and flaking. Rain and severe weather. Oh, what we get in the UK. Rot and algae build up. Sunlight, UV. So it's protecting you against all that. And it's the uses for it, it's wood. Not recommended for substrates which have been water repellent. Preservative treated, applied. Well, that's what my shed was originally. And that's why I'm well over 18 months of getting the sun on it to bleach it out. And that, that's why I'm using this now and not when it was first done. If they had to put that treatment on when it was first fitted, I could have done it easily last year. But also, it's good for galvanised plastic, concrete, brick and cladding. So when I say it goes over anything, it's a good one to, good one to use. And I said earlier... About 70 quid a tin. Right, you're going to ask me the colour. Forest green. Really impressed with it. Water based. Wash all your stuff out with water. Dead easy. And the, the other thing that I've been really impressed with is doing it with this bad boy. 40 quid sprayer. HVLP sprayer from... You see that? A 40 quid sprayer from Screwfix has done me two coats easily now i'm not saying it's a spray that you'd use in some customers houses there's mm, the control's not there but for doing sheds fences and anything like this 40 quid saved me a load of time i mean originally i was going to use my hvlp qt5 then i thought to myself i'm going to do airless and that's what i was thinking of doing doing airless and when you do airless as i said earlier check your recommended spray tips i've got a feeling off the top of my head it was 0.14 of his spray tip orifice if you don't know about orifices and um, spray tips i've got a video link there check that out please but no i've gone with a, a cheap hvlp sprayer and it's worked the results i'm really impressed you can see on this video now the sheen it's a uh, Oh, I'd say it's a semi-gloss. I won't say it's a soft sheen, it's a semi-gloss. Now, after that first coat, it was very tacky. Now, the sun was on it, it dried off lovely. Now, you saw on the video where I speeded it up, I was doing just left to right horizontals. When I went to the second coat, I went up and down as vertical, giving that 
50-50 overlap and the fan on that sprayer was wide open so I was getting a good coating on that and it's lovely and it's even. Now in the tin it mixes up and it feels quite thick. The edges of that door are brushed and it went on quite smooth. I would say if every paint went on as easy as that you'd go what a beautiful water-based paint. So I do know when it was brushed these edges because I did all the edges of the door brushed it, it didn't need thinning, it was straight out the tin, it went on lovely. And that's probably why it says you can use it on windows and things like that. But the finish, I'm really impressed with. And as you can see now, I've gone round all the black round the bottom or up there. And it's really set it off. Now the black, I've used oh, another video there. Cooper and Old Shades, Garden Shades in Ash Black. So that's what that is. So um, yeah, thanks for listening to me. We've probably just been over 10 minutes, not too long. Um, really impressed with it. Give it a go. Just buy Bedek. You get it. Most of your decent paint suppliers. So yeah, we're going to say thank you very much. Have I got a video there and a video there? Please check them out. Yeah, there is videos there. Please check them out. Every click helps. My click through rate has got to improve apparently that's what they say to me you click through rates got to improve so um that said i'm going to say goodbye click there or click there i'm going to give you the wink and we've gone